Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And can we just take a second to acknowledge this crooked picture on the wall? Uh, okay, so uh, last week we cleaned the kitchen and I showed you a little sneak peek of our dining room. And I don't know that it's any better. Um, I took a few things that needed to go to the basement down, but as I said last week, it really is just our dumping ground. I'm gonna show it to you right now. We bring everything from every other room and stick it in here. And it's not pretty. It just gets piled up with things. Look how dirty my Mac screen is. That's baby Leo for you. He likes to touch it. So anyway, that that's what we're working on today. It's uh, it's not pleasant, but it is what it is, and we need to get it cleaned. So let's clean it up. So you may be wondering where all of this stuff has come from and how it got piled up like this. And the answer really is just over time. Um, we've taken things, as we've cleaned other rooms and as we have done other things, our dining room has just become our dumping ground. Um, I, that's really the only explanation that I have. Just, it's been this way it started out small with just a few, you know, some paper, some books, and then it ended up, I, as I cleaned other rooms, I put things that needed to go to the basement here because, you know, I'm pregnant and I'm tired and I didn't want to go down. So instead, I just would set it on the table or set it in the floor. And so then it ended up looking like this. And I don't think we've used our dining room table in probably four months. A lot of this is office equipment because at the moment we don't have an office. Uh, we did until we decided to give the boys their own rooms instead of the older boys. They are 15 and 11 and we decided to give them their own rooms instead of sharing a room and so we lost our office when we did that. And so you can see that we have a lot of electronic stuff, a lot of paperwork, a lot of books, just things that would go in an office. And hopefully one day we can build another one or, I don't know, we'll figure it out somehow. finally writing out my list because I knew that I had to get all that stuff cleared out before I could do the cleaning. So I just wrote down all my deep cleaning stuff. Here I'm changing or cleaning out the light fixture, which you can't tell. This table, I cannot wait to paint this table. I've been Pinterest searching um, painted dining room tables and I'm thinking that I want to stain the wood a darker color and then maybe paint the black parts like um, an off-white or like a country white. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you would do with the table in the comments below because we can't afford to buy a new one and this one is in rough shape so something needs to be done. When I was filming this I was doing an Instagram story and someone asked me about uh, the shelves that the glasses are on. I got them from Amazon. I don't remember exactly what they're called. Um, they're just, I got them from Amazon. Hopefully you can find them. I'll see if I can find the link. I 
I've also been asked about our bar here. Um, our bar is really very simple. It's two, I bought two $15 black bookshelves from Walmart and bought a can of metallic silver spray paint. I spray painted the back of it there, um, the silver color, and then Chris put the lights inside of it. I think they're Sylvania. They came from Lowe's, I believe. So um, I think we spent less than $50 and we really like it. It's cheap and it serves its purpose. In the bowl of cleaner there, I just have some Mrs. Meyers dish soap and water. That's pretty much my go-to cleaner for anything that I need to scrub or wipe down like the walls and the um, baseboards and things like that. The table and chairs I'm cleaning here. By the time I'm finished, it ends up being very brown. It's amazing to me how much stuff gets spilled on these table and chairs and I know a lot of it is little little kid fingers little baby fingers they seem to touch everything and when they are touching everything their hands are always sticky Again, my old school Swiffer steam mop. You can see the little plastic pieces beginning to peel off, but I'm just gonna have to get a replacement because it's amazing and I don't wanna use anything else. You may be asking yourself about the dogs on the back porch. We There seems to be a new dog in every video I have. These are not our dogs. They are um, someone else's that we are keeping for them. I'm not sure how long this arrangement is gonna go on. Um, we'll have to see. We're just too kind and we can't say no, basically is what happened. And now we uh, temporarily, hopefully have these dogs. <laughs> Leo is always here helping me. He is so stinking cute and he has so much fun helping me do things like this. I did buy a Method glass cleaner, but it was upstairs and I just wanted to get it cleaned. So Leo and I used Windex. you guys so here you have it this is our freshly spring clean dining room um, I would like to add some more pictures on this wall I really want to paint this brown door because I think that it is very out of place I want to paint the table which you guys know so oh here's my list oops I have to mark off sweep the floor I did do that I was gonna vacuum it, but Leo was asleep at the time, so. Oh, it has been a busy and productive day. I think this is the first one that I've ever gotten done in one day, so that's kind of impressing. Kind of impressing, Impre kind of impressive. I have the fried mommy brain going on bad today. Ignore the dogs, so I have the windows open so you can hear every dog in the neighborhood bark. Um, 
Yeah. Leo even helped me. He was a big help. I got these two cute little things from the dollar store. So it's later that same day. Uh, but I forgot to end the video. So uh, I just sat down to edit. It's 11:30, and uh yeah we had a pretty pretty good evening uh we had chicken not chicken we had bacon fettuccine for dinner with garlic bread and salad it was really good um my dining room is still really nice and clean it smells so fresh and i just wanted to say thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already um because there are still a few more things that i have left to spring clean uh bedrooms and the hallway i think maybe i'll like combine a few smaller things into one video because i still want to do the hallway i'm going to do um that i don't know how to point over there that closet uh, because that's another place that we just pile stuff and i don't know the basement really needs cleaned before the baby gets here so I don't know if I'll feel that froggy but anyway so that's all for tonight and uh, I'll see you guys next week thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if it inspired you to maybe do some spring cleaning of your own I'll see you guys next time bye